Hello, join us in mastering Corel Draw Graphics Suite with our comprehensive course. This lesson is just one of the 80 in-depth tutorials designed to equip you with all the skills you need. Whether you are a beginner or seeking to enhance your proficiency, our course covers everything you need to know about Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paints. Subscribe to our channel to unlock more insightful lessons like this one or take the next step by enrolling in the full course using the link below. Don't miss out on the opportunity to assess all 80 lessons and elevate your design expertise with Corel Draw Graphics Suits. See you in the class. My name is Ejofo Umano. I'm one of your instructors in this course. In this section, we'll look at Corel Draw Tools. This is the document navigation bar. If we want two objects, we can add here. If we click, it will start another object so as if it's another Corel Draw page. When we want to save, they will save differently from the earlier one. It's different from this page navigation. The page navigation will insert pages in this single document but this will insert another document we have uh, this to you can insert image this import you can import image into your coral drum if i click import it to take me to the last folder i used you browse to the image you want to insert and you can call up the image let's check the image we'll use okay. when you import image it will be waiting for you to draw a box that will show the size of the image if you don't draw a box, it will use the properties you see it's showing you the properties of the bed. So if we draw a box, it will maintain this size. Draw is wonderful in managing pictures. We can stretch pictures without losing much quality. So this is one object you can put into Corel Draw. Remember that anything you draw or image you import here are called objects. The other thing you can do is to put objects here yourself. You notice what happened when we brought this in. The interactive toolbar changed, giving us the tools we can use to work on this. So we can insert box, we click on box and draw. We can insert circle shapes. We call them regular shape. It's different from the shapes you draw by your hand. This is the peak tool. It's like the normal mouse pointer. You use it to select what you want. If you click on a tool and you finish using it, it's waiting for you. It has not dropped the tool. Press your space bar. Press escape or you double click to leave the two. So here you will have a box. This most graphics you draw will have the fill, which is the inside color, and the pen outline, which we can change. So this is bigger now, but we are not seeing it well unless we zoom. This is your zoom too. Most of your Corel Draw work will be zooming into your objects and zooming out. You see that the property toolbar has changed for to zoom. So this is how to make a box. We we'll use this to move the box. As we click here in the property bars, it tells us where the object is in space. It tells us the dimension of the object because our ruler is pixel it gives us it give it gave us the dimension this is the angular the rotational tool we can type anything here to rotate it 
to that angle clockwise uh, anti-clockwise so if you have this object here in every object you drop they have these anchors so these are six of them you can use it to stretch by dragging stretch you can use it to stretch then there are other things you can do with it you've seen here you can rotate you can change the size by stretching the, sh the size has changed but if we click again you see that we can rotate it manually here and it has noticed the rotation so if we type zero here it goes back to our normal size we can also use the undo to get back to our normal position so this is skew it will skew your object just just like as i'm doing now so once you want to get back to what you did before remember your undo will get you back now we still have repeat you. Okay. So this is an object and this is an object. Then in most cases you'll be sketching your own object. You won't rely on regular objects. So here we'll have our drawing tools. This is freehand drawing. With freehand drawing you can draw an object once you click and drag your drawing if you remove your hand it ends the drawing you press spacebar to leave the two we have another type we have several pens here we'll discuss all of them but for now the free hand will just give you a segment when you remove your hand the polyline will continue if you remove your hand if i click here now i'll go to another place and click you see it follows me as i'm clicking it's dropping the anchor point but it did not break like the free hand back. if i come near the starting point it will ask if i want to join it if i click it will join another way to join objects is to use the join here so if we we'll go to freehand drawing and draw an object this is not closed if it is not closed it will not let's click it, it will not color the inside is empty if we want it closed we'll do this if we do it will close it and color it with the last color that we have so in the if I want to manipulate the pen and the feel of this, uh, if I click here now, you see that I will have options here to use the pen. This is uh, vertical mirror. This is horizontal mirror. If I click it, I have the angle. But we have limited things we can do here. If I want to change the color, I'll click here to change the color if i want to change the color of the pen if i double click here i can change the color of the pen but what you always have in view when you are working with objects is the docker panel. the docker panel will show you all the things you can do with an object if we go to the properties bar here now and click a docker will appear here that contains the tools you can use to manipulate this object. From here, I can click this and change the fill color. If I go to fill, I can change the fill color. Here. You see, it's easier to use all this and see. I can change the arrangement of color here to this color viewer. Color viewer will give you all the colors which are millions of colors based on what you select here first of all go to the color palette you want then come inside here and choose the exact color you want so it's a wonderful tool. then about pen now we can change the size of the pen 
by clicking pen will come to the size and change the size. We can also change the color of the pen. You see what happens in the docker. From one point we are doing so many things. And we have the transparency tool here. And we have this uh, effects tool. So you see that you have a lot of things you can do with this. As our work, as we walk deep into Corel Draw, we will use all the tools. For now, we we'll concentrate on the pen. So, if we want to draw, so you click the freehand drawing, then you draw. You press the space bar to stop drawing. If you click shape 2, you notice that this has the beginning of the drawing, the tip. It's like an arrow and this is the tail of the arrow. If I want to join these two points, I can do that from the drawing here. When I was drawing, not now. But if I want to close it now that I finished drawing, I have to select the two nodes. We are interested in only two nodes. And I can click here to join the two. So when we are drawing, where as you are clicking, you have nodes. These are called nodes. You can move them to create another shape or modify the one you have drawn. Each one we click, you see an anchor here. You drag it to make more complex curve. You see what is happening here. So it's a very good tool too. The shape of the end result of your dragging it is shown here. If we click here, when we drag it, it will end up with that type of shape. If we click here, when we drag it ends up with this type of shape this is so you'll be visiting here to select the shape you want when you're working on a particular node not all the shapes will be visible here this is not visible it means it's not possible for you to use it but if it is possible like we'll add more nodes here. we'll add more nodes now you see we'll have more options this says that when we drag this node, that it will be pointed like this. But while we are dragging, had it been we clicked here, it will have a shape like arc. So these are what you come here to do. With the shape tool, you can start with anything and end up with another thing. An important thing to mention is that the regular shapes like circle and this way will, will provide very few nodes if you want to shape with them you have to convert them to curve they are not curved they are regular shapes so if i come to this i have only four nodes and i can manipulate them much this is the highest they can go if i click this one now it has only one node which i can only move this way if I want to use this for drawing, I have to change it, convert it to curve. So how do we do that? You come to this place and you see convert to curve. Once I click, I've converted it to curve. I can add more nodes. To add your node, click here when the shape tool is giving this sign. You click. Then come here and click add node. In the same way, you can click a node and delete it. For example, we come here and click this node. If we delete it, it will adjust to nearby nodes. So we delete and our shape adjusted to the next adjacent shapes. So if I'm working on this now, I find that you can turn this to just any shape you want. 
just by manipulating and adding notes. Another way to add notes is to just double click. If I could double click any place, I can add notes to it. So I have double click when this is showing this sign as you can double click to add note. Another way is to click once and come here and say add note. Remember your delete note. Remember to your join. This joins a wire. And we can break a note. So if we select this note, we can click break delete note. So delete it. And we can click the break. We'll select this node. You can come here and break the node. When you break a node, the starting arrow and end arrow shows you. If I want to join this node again, I have three options. I can select the two nodes and come here and say join node. That's one way. Another way is to click let's get out of here another way is to drag the node so that they meet each other if i do this pointer will come out once i see it i can release my hand another way you can join your line is while drawing now I finished drawing and here I have option to automatically close the drawing it will close it so in the next lecture we'll continue with these tools see you in the next lecture remember to enroll in the course with the link below